to for these two to formalize how Yes. Major General Michael Howard welcoming Fort Meade housing residents to the first of two town halls on Friday. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also in this edition, a Fort Meade unit wins a big award. Civilian retirement briefings coming up. And a look at this year's Black History Month observance. These stories and more, but first, General Howard, the Commanding General of Joint Forces Headquarters National Capital Region and the Military District of Washington, and also Fort Meade Senior Commander, hosted two town halls on Friday regarding previously reported housing issues on post. The General is joined by Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague and representatives of Corvius, the company managing privatized housing on the installation. While many issues and possible solutions were discussed during the meetings, General Howard repeatedly called for residents to hold the installation chain of command accountable going forward. You can watch the town halls in their entirety on our Facebook page. More on the story in this week's Sound Off. Meanwhile, the 200th Military Police Command, the senior law enforcement unit within the Army Reserve and based right here at Fort Meade, has earned first place in the best large unit category in the United States Army's anti-terrorism program. According to the Army, the program recognizes soldiers and organizations working day in and day out to achieve anti-terrorism excellence by protecting people, information, property, and facilities. As I mentioned, the 200th is a reserve unit beating out all brigades, divisions, and commands in the Army to take the top honor. Congratulations to the 200th. In other news, on Saturday, March 2nd, the National Park Service lowered the speed limit on the Baltimore-Washington Parkway to 40 miles per hour between routes 32 and 197. According to officials, roadways across the region have developed extensive pothole hazards due to record amounts of precipitation in 2018. As such, they need everyone to slow down on the parkway to help deal with the poor road conditions. Meanwhile, Club Mead, Fort Mead's Equal Opportunity Office, and Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center hosted this year's Black History Month observance on the 28th of February. I was a free black man who owned a farm near Baltimore. I was largely self-educated in, in astronomy and mathematics. I assisted in the surveying of the territory for the construction of the national the nation's capital. Sergeant Chance Clark of the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center reading the words of Benjamin Banneker. He was one of ten famous African Americans highlighted in the visual performance timeline at this year's observance. This year's guest speaker was the Kimbrough's pharmacy chief and chief of patient services. The Army is leading our country in promoting equality and providing opportunities. For I am an example, it's extremely important to support and promote diversity of all races, genders, and religions because the soldiers and leaders we have represent the total fiber of America. Thank you. An important reminder from Army Community Service, they're offering free seminars on the Federal Employees Retirement System, or FERS. The first one is coming up this Wednesday. It's for folks within five years of retirement. Other briefings are scheduled for employees at the mid-career point. Registration is open now. Go to fortmeadeacs.checkappointments.com or call 301-677-5590 if you have any questions. Finally, a couple of reminders from MWR. This from Gaffney Gym. The indoor pool at Gaffney Gym is going to close from Sunday, March 17th through Tuesday, March 26th for minor repairs. And job seekers need to put Wednesday, March 27th on their calendars. MWR, state and county officials are hosting a tech job fair from 9 to 2 at Club Mead. It's open to the public. They'll be offering a free shuttle service from the Visitor Control Center to Club Mead. For details, go to www.mead.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. They do so much for us. That's why we do so much for them. USO Metro's programs boost the morale of our military members and their families. Located right here in the Washington, Baltimore region are the largest USO centers in the world. The USO Warrior and Family Centers at Fort Belvoir and Bethesda. These state-of-the-art centers provide services to lift the spirits of our troops and their families and offer robust programs for the wounded, ill, and their caregivers. USO Metro Centers and Airport Lounges provide a strong sense of community, familiarity, and trust by providing a home away from home. USO Metro is proud to serve those who serve and their families. In Maryland, Northern Virginia, and Washington, D.C.